Aidlidge crew and also my turtle people, welcome back to the channel, the home of no nonsense barbecue videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at this. So I've been sent this by Inkbird to do a review on. It's their brand new Bluetooth Wi-Fi smart barbecue thermometer. So we'll be able to uh, review this and test it out. I need something to cook. So today we're just going to do a simple chicken. It's going to be a spatchcock Spanish chicken. And we're going to be cooking on the machine with no name. Or as I've renamed it, the Turtelator. So come on, let's get on. So the first thing we need to do for this spatchcock chicken is to make our marinade. So we're going to go Spanish flavours. And we're going to do it just like this. So I've got myself a pestle and mortar. We're going to do a bit of bashing in here. Into that we're going to add one tablespoon of fennel seeds. Just going to add them in and we're just going to give them a light bash. Just want to break those uh, kind of little husks open a bit. You can smell that aniseed already starting to come out. That's it, don't want to go too, uh, too fine. To that, we're going to add two cloves of garlic that I've just kind of minced up. One tablespoon of smoked paprika. About a teaspoon of sea salt. Same again, teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. One tablespoon of dried oregano. Two tablespoons of oil and one tablespoon of water. We're all in there and all we do now is just bring it together and all we're going to do is make a nice paste. We've got that mixed in and what we're going to do now is add the zest of one lemon. <laughs> that one got away. Anyway, that's enough. So I've retrieved our lemon back. And all we're gonna do, just squeeze off the lemon to get that fresh juice out. Mix that in. And there we have it, our marinade for our Spanish chicken, ready. So this is my chicken. It's a one and a half kilo chicken. I've already spatchcocked it. I'll put a link above to show you how to do that, but I take mine one step further and I'll show you. I spatchcock it, obviously by taking the backbone out, but then I remove all the rib bones, the wishbone and everything. The only bones that are left in this are the legs, thigh bones and the wing bones. I've got this thing about bones, not too keen on them. All we need to do now is take a sharp knife. This is a very old knife given to me by my father-in-law. I'm just gonna put some scores in there, down the breast as well, not too deep, because remember, we've got no rib cage to hold this. We've got some nice, uh, got some nice, uh, cuts into the flesh here, we want to get this marinade right into these. And all we do now is transfer this to a dish. There's our chicken into the dish. And now we're just going to go in and get the marinade onto this chicken. And like always there's only one way to do this and that is to get your hand in and get this goodness out. Not only going to do this side, we're going to turn it and get the 
flavour in here as well. There's our chicken marinated now. All we need to do is get this in for the fridge, minimum of four hours, and like we always say, overnight is best. Now our chicken's in marinating, we're gonna bring our attention back to this. The Inkbird Bluetooth Wi-Fi Smart Barbecue Thermometer. It's an IBT-26S 5G. You see, brand new, seal still intact. We'll get a knife in there, cut the seals, and we'll see what we've got. First thing, instruction manual. Oh, look at this. Doesn't that look posh? So this is black with a, what I call a probably a rose gold. I'm sure someone will correct me on that. On here we've got a point for oven and we've got five inputs. So we can monitor five different cuts of meat all at the same time. A little package. USB cable. Two grill clips. One, two, three, four probes. So that's a little bit confusing that. This has got six channels on it, a pit and five uh, meat probes or whatever you're cooking. But we've only got one, two, three, four probes. Okay, we can live with that. So look at these probes. Little Vocro fasteners. I can't see many people putting them back on, but uh, we'll see. It's a little bit different to uh, a lot of the old type of thermometers. It's kind of got a bit of a metal uh, safeguard on it to stop the uh, wires being pulled out. And I would say that the lead is about a metre long. Obviously they've got different uh, colours for identification and on the plug as well. So straight out the box. Let's have a look, see if we've got any power on it. Yep, we have power. Obviously we've got no we've got no probes attached. Let's see how easy this is to connect to the internet. As with all things like this, it's all run by an app. I've already downloaded the app, uh, registered myself. As with everything with these type of things, it's run by an app. So I've already downloaded the app and I've registered myself. And the first thing that comes up is this. Look at this amazing deal. 40% off if you order through Amazon. That's amazing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try and connect our thermometer to it. <laughs> Look at this app. It's telling me what the temperature is here at the moment, where I'm located, and what time the sunset is tonight. Amazing. So we're gonna turn on the device. So we're gonna come up here and click add. searching it looks like it's struggling to find no presets at the moment so we're going to do chicken so let's add some presets fish pork chicken let's go chicken we're going to go well done there's a default default temperature 74 we're going to set that up. So we've got chicken. So we're going to set up the cook. Now we're going to be using the uh, machine with no name or the turtolator as I've called it now. So this is our panel. We're going to go custom. I'm going to go zero on this. 160. I'm going to leave it on 160. And we're going to set this up. 
So that's quite easy to set up. So now it's time to get cooking. The app's set up, the chicken's about ready. It's time now to get some pellets in the turtleator. For this, I'm using my Pellet Man's olive wood pellets. So we're gonna use the economizer in the upper. Just drop that in. Take our pellets. I must admit, these olive wood pellets are a nice dark colour. I'll leave a link below on how to purchase these and I might even put a little cheeky QR code up. We've got our upper now with the pellets in. Got the economizer in, so that's 50% of the pellets. Just drop them in, shut the lid. I'm going to turn on to smoker. We want 160. And we want, I'm going to put an hour and 15, we're not going to use all this time. And press start. So the turtle is ready, time to get this chicken on. So here's our chicken, ready to go on. We'll take our ink bird. We're gonna place a temperature probe right into this leg and into the thigh. Next, what do we do with this the pit probe? Obviously there's no grates to clip it into. What I'm going to do, take our asshole fork, slide that into there like that. And there we go. So we're going to start the cook. So I think Bird now is telling us this chicken's cooked. That was about 36 minutes. So we'll stop the cook. We'll get the chicken off and we'll see what we've got. Just look at that chicken. Take the probes out. Take our chicken off and we'll get this served. Some lemon wedges. Sprinkle of flat leaf parsley. There we have it. So there we have it folks, that's Dutch's spash cocked Spanish chicken cooked with the Inkbird IBT 26S 5G. So it's about time we got in and had a bit of a taste test. Skin is so crispy. Just look at that. Time for a taste. That's chicken is so juicy, tender. The flavour of the Mediterranean certainly comes through. I think we'll just give it a squeeze of lemon and we'll go for another slice just look at that fall apart juicy chicken 
All thanks to Inkbird.